So we're here with the Third Eye, and hi, so who are you? My name is Nick Cherikuri, I'm one of the founders of Third Eye. And um, uh, this, this is your Third Eye right here, so can you take them off and explain what's going on? Sure. So at Third Eye, we make Mixed Reality Smart Glasses. These are our X2 Mixed Reality Smart Glasses. They're the smallest smart glasses in the world with built-in SLAM and 3D tracking. So it's not just a screen in front of you, you can actually map out the room and interact with your environment. So we fit all this in a pair of smart glasses that's about six ounces, so it's really lightweight. You can wear it indoors and outdoors for an extended period of time, and you can do hundreds of cool AR, MR applications on them. So it's got uh, a, a 3D scanner system? Yeah. Has, How does it work? It has two depth cameras in here, and then we run our own proprietary SLAM based off this data that allow you to do inside out, six degrees of freedom tracking, plane detection, occlusion, and really the kind of tools you need to make real world powerful MR applications. Is it powered right now on batteries? So it has a built-in battery here, about 1750 milliamp battery, so you can use it for about four to six hours. Is it powered hours. right now? Um, this one, I'd check. Uh, I could check. Yeah. And then uh, you've got a, a, a user interface, a system in there? Yeah, so we have four forms of UI. We have okay. head motion gaze controls, we have gestures, we have audio commands, and we also have a touchpad that we're going to include. So anyone can pick whatever they prefer. That's, I think. So it's like this. Yeah. And uh, what's There's the difference with that one? These are our smallest pair of glasses, our X2. That's our X1A. It's a little wider field of view, a little high resolution. It's a little bigger. So it really depends on your preference, what type of optics you like. So most people prefer this because these are the smallest, sleekest on market. But we have another option as well. So it's up to the end user.